Hi guys, I am in, actually in Pigeon Forge right now. Um, I got here on Monday. I'm here at the Apple Barn and this is a really fun shop. They have a restaurant and creamery and cider mill. And um, I've been here before, it's been a few years ago though. So I'm leaving with a few things today. So I'll share those with you later. But yeah, if you ever come to Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville area, you definitely have to check out the Apple Barn. So I've always loved Gatlinburg. And I've actually come here to the Apple Barn with my daughters before. Um, it's just a really nice, a nice family place to visit. Let's see, they've got quite a lot of um, different things to do when you come. They've got a Christmas shop, which I didn't get to today. Um, I'll have to save that for another time. But yeah, this is, um, it smelled so good in there. It smells like apples and cinnamon and just really really good so we came to Gatlinburg on Monday and it's been a lot of fun so I'm gonna share a few things that we've done this week and hope you enjoy the video So I'm on my way home from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We've been here for the last um, four days and I thought I would stop in to a couple of thrift stores on the way, of course, um, on the way back home to see if I could find anything that I'm currently looking for for my house. Um, we're redoing a few of the rooms. So yeah, let's go see what we can find. You tell me you're scared
Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. I am sharing a pretty large um, thrift haul from a number of different thrift stores. I, um, over the last week or so, I have gone to some Carm stores, Goodwill stores, yeah, and picked up a few different things. So I wanted to share those with you today. Um, thrifting is such a fun kind of like treasure hunt and you never know what you're going to find. Um, and sometimes, you know, you walk in and you find exactly what you didn't know you were looking for. So anyway, I am happy that you're here with me today to start with, um, like a week and a half ago, I had to go to Lexington with my daughter, Hannah, and we drive through London, Kentucky to get to Lexington, Kentucky. And um, we stopped at the London Vendors Market, and they were just about to close, so I didn't really get to shop for very long, but I found a couple of things right off that, um, that I really liked. Okay, so the first thing I got was this vintage picture of a setter hunting dog and kind of a hunting scene. It's not professionally framed. So, I, and I may actually put it in, the, end up putting it in a different frame. Um, I really love the colors of it. I'm not sure where I'm going to use this yet, um, but I really do like the colors of it. And this picture was only $10. So, yeah, I'm, I imagine I'm going to put it in a different frame. But I really, really liked it. And then the next thing that I got was this set of vintage decorative plates but um this set of plates has like a gold rim around it each dog is different but they're all bird dogs and um i'm considering where to put this right now i'm not sure the set was 17 dollars, and i'm going to hang them on the wall maybe in the family room bathroom or just in the family room, I'm not sure. Or this may end up going in the um, my boy's bedroom upstairs. Um, I just haven't decided yet. I've got to give it a little bit of thought, but um, I really liked those. And then at a Goodwill in Sevierville, Tennessee, this week when we were there, I got this framed picture, another hunting picture, this was $4.99. I like the mat on it. I like the colors of it. I think that I'm going to put this um, upstairs in the boys' bedroom, probably over the dresser that's in there, although we're looking for new furniture for that room. So this was only $4.99. I thought it was a really good deal, and I really liked it. Okay, and then I got a couple of picture frames at a Carm store. Um, the first one was this little ceramic little floral detail on the corners. This was $1.99. I'm either going to use this in a girl's bedroom or maybe my son room. I thought it was just very sweet. And then I got this um, picture frame. I'm planning probably to use this in the boys' room upstairs. 
So I'll put a family photo in there and use that. That one was $2.99. And that also came from the Charm store. Okay, and then back to the Goodwill. I found this beautiful little basket. It's got a handle. I don't always love baskets with handles, but I thought this one was really sweet. It was $4.99 and it's a good size. Right now I'm thinking about using it on top of my refrigerator in my kitchen and making a vignette up there. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Um, so I might, I might use that there. I will let you know and if I do, I will show you. And, but it's just a really nice basket. Um, this would even make a cute little like picnic basket. Do you collect baskets? <laughs> I love baskets. I have baskets all over my house. Okay, and then next, I got this Anchor Hawking bread pan or loaf pan. Um, it was $1.99 and I have several loaf pans. I, I bake bread regularly, but um, because I've collected like thrifted vintage baking pans um, or loaf pans over the years, they're all different. But this one looks very similar to one of the ones I have. And what's funny is when I'm baking bread, uh, because I have two different size loaf pans, my bread loaves aren't uniform, which isn't really a big deal, but also kind of bothers me. <laughs> so I think that this one is going to be the same as one of the ones I have, which will then make my sandwich bread, when I make my two loaves at the same time, will make that sandwich bread more uniform in shape. Okay, and then finally at the Goodwill, I got a rug. It looks like it's in basically brand new condition. Um, it's Christmas colors, red and green. This was $2.99 at the Goodwill. And um, I really love the colors. I don't know if I'm going to save it for Christmas or if I'm going to use it in the family room, bathroom downstairs. Um, I know it's not a traditional rug for a bathroom, but I really like the colors. And when we get that bathroom, we're still like renovating that bathroom or the wiring and stuff still has to be done in it. Um, so it's not, it's not ready to use, but, um, but I think that this will look nice down there. And um, so that's kind of what my thought process was for that rug. Okay, and then beyond thrifting, I actually went to the Apple Barn. So the Apple Barn, I've been there before. It's just this wonderful shop. They also have like a creamery and a restaurant and a grill. Um, what else do they have there? There's like a Christmas store. And then you have like the Apple Barn uh, general store where they have um, jams and jellies and like just kitchenware and all kinds of wonderful things. And you walk in and it smells so good. You just, I mean, I, I told one of the ladies, I was like, I wish my house smelled this good. Um, just really a wonderful experience every time you go there. Okay, so I couldn't help myself. I had to get a couple of jams. I got the peach preserves. I grew up in Georgia and peaches and peach everything is just one of my favorite things. $4.99 for this jar, peach butter. I can't wait to use this like on homemade biscuits or um, homemade bread. It's going to be so good. Okay, and then I got another, I got another jelly. And of course I had to get apple jelly because I was at the apple barn. And this one was $4.49. Um, look how beautiful. I used to make apple jelly and preserves a whole lot. I haven't done it in a while, but way back when my kids were growing up, I used to love to, to do canning and preserving. So I'm hoping that this year I'll have time to do more of that kind of thing. Okay, and then finally, I got this Valance. And it has like plaid, and then it also has the pine cone lip branch. So we have a little window in our laundry room that's off of the family room. And when I saw this, I thought that this would be really sweet in that window. Um, it also, I had purchased the, if you saw in the last video, I had purchased 
those coasters for the family room that had the pine cones on them. And when I saw this the next day, the pattern was very similar and I just thought, why not? Um, I really, really liked it. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good down there. We have not finished our laundry room. We still have some um, things to do down there. We have wallpaper to put up. And I think we're gonna put in new cabinetry and stuff. So it's still in, it, a work in progress. But I just thought this was very sweet. I still have to pick out my wallpaper. Um, I'll have to show you my choices and see what you guys think about that. Okay, and then finally, there in Sevierville, Tennessee, there is a Tanger outlet. Tanger outlet is actually why I'm over in Sevierville the most. So I'll take my, I'll go with my daughters over to Sevierville to go shopping quite a bit and at the Tanger outlets. And um, my girls, Hannah Laura came up on Wednesday this week and we went shopping and I wasn't planning to buy anything. But then um, I had been wanting some navy blue like khaki pants. We've gone in the Gap factory store and um, actually it was Laura's idea because she had bought a pair of navy blue pants a while back from the Gap. And um, she said I should go in there and look. And crazy enough, they were having a crazy sale. So I got a pair of navy blue kind of khaki slacks. Um, Let's see. They were on. They were on sale for fourteen ninety nine, and I thought that's what I was going to pay for them. But then when I got out to the checkout, I realized that they were having a sixty percent off extra sale. I got these pants for five dollars and fifty cents. That was crazy. Um, I actually had like some reward points too. So I got like an extra dollar off, which brought it down to $5 and I think 50 cents. But, um, <laughs> these pants were like regularly, these pants were like regularly, let's see if I can show you, $69.99. So I got them for $5 and 50 cents. That was crazy. I couldn't believe it. So that was a really great deal. And, um, I was quite happy with that with that purchase. So all in all, we had a really great time in Pigeon Forge. And I guess that's all for today's video. I hope that you have a really great day. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I do post a video and you won't miss one. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about what I got. Is there anything that you would have purchased if you had seen it? I'd love to know. So I will see you next time.